Hello everybody, my name is Michael Quinn. I'm one of the directors and co-founder of The Quinn Group. This week on Quintessential TV, we will present another one of our videos. Today, we will be discussing the following topic. End of financial year tax tips. How to legally minimise your tax liability for business and individuals. Whether you're operating a business or a hard-working taxpayer, it's safe to say that no one wants to be paying more tax than they need to. While there are regulatory requirements and obligations that must be adhered to by every business and income earner in Australia, there are certainly things that you can do to help legally minimise the amount of tax that you or your business are liable to pay. Seeking expert tax planning advice from qualified and experienced tax accountants like the team at Quinn Group is the best way to ensure that you are utilising every avenue that is available for your individual situation. Tax planning strategies can be undertaken at any time throughout the year, but with the end of financial year fast approaching, now's the perfect time to take prompt action. Seek professional advice from us and potentially reduce your tax liability for the current financial year. To give you an idea of the types of ways that you may be able to legally minimise your tax liability, we've prepared a brief overview of the most common things that can be done to legally minimise tax across a number of areas. Small business tax tips, general business tax tips, tax tips for trusts, tax tips for investments and capital gains tax, and individual tax tips. So, small business tax tips. Purchase business assets, there's no threshold. Temporary full expensing of depreciating assets allows for an immediate deduction for assets that are installed and ready for use from 6th of October 2020 until 30 June 23. At this stage, there is no indication that the temporary full expensing provision will be extended beyond 30th of June 23. So if you're looking to purchase business assets in the near future, it may be prudent to take prompt action in order to take advantage of the immediate deduction. Comply with Division 7A. The ATO is vigilant on businesses that use funds or assets of a company for their personal purposes. Any personal expenses that are paid by a private company in respect of a shareholder may be treated as a deemed dividend to the shareholder, which is an unfranked deemed dividend. Ensure that such payment or loan is repaid by 30th of June to avoid a deemed dividend arising. Get rid of obsolete equipment. Check your asset register and scrap any obsolete machinery or plant and equipment prior to 30th of June and take advantage of an immediate write-off deduction. Conduct a stock take. Take an inventory of your stock to identify slow-moving or obsolete stock and write them off before 30th of June. Carry back losses. Loss carryback provides a refundable tax offset that eligible corporate entities can claim after the end of their 21, 22 and 23 income tax years in the corresponding company tax returns. Eligible entities get the offset by choosing to carry back losses to either years in which there were income tax liabilities. The offset effectively represents the tax the eligible entity would save if it was able to deduct the loss in that earlier year using the loss year tax rate. As it is a refundable tax offset, it may result in a cash refund a reduced tax liability or reduction of a debt owed to the ATO. Prepay business expenses. Small businesses can claim a tax deduction for certain business expenses that will be incurred within the next 12 months. You can prepay for expenses such as rent, insurance and subscriptions. General business tax tips. Write off your bad debts. If you're carrying bad debts, now is the best time to review them. If you decide they are irrecoverable, write off any bad debts before 30th of June so you can claim them as a deduction in the 23 financial year. Review ATO debts. Review any outstanding debts that you have with the ATO and where necessary, engage with the ATO to manage those debts. Did you know that certain tax debts can now be made available on commercial credit reports, which could, in turn, negatively impact your credit rating? So beware of this. Pay your super contributions prior to 30th of June. 
While your employee superannuation contributions are not due until 28 July 2023, pay them before 30th of June so you can claim a deduction this financial year. Payment after this date means you won't be able to claim them until the 24 financial year. Reconsider your business structure. Tax time is a good time to reevaluate your current business structure. If you think you're paying too much tax or are wanting to take on another partner, speak to us before 30th of June so that we can advise you of the advantages and disadvantages of each structure. State payroll tax. Under payroll tax legislation, all payments to subcontractors are subject to payroll tax unless an exemption applies. You should review your subcontractor payments to ensure that you are meeting your payroll tax obligations. Get ready for changes to superannuation guarantee. From 1 July 2023, the rate of compulsory superannuation contributions is increasing from 10.5% to 11%. Tax tips for trusts. Review your trust deeds. Make sure you comply with the requirements of your trust deed in declaring distributions to ensure the distributions are valid. Also check your trust is still working as you expect it to, including making sure the person or entity that has the power to replace the trustee, known as the appointer, is still the right person. Consider distributing up to $416 to minors which are under the age of 18. You can distribute $416 tax-free to your child who is under 18 years of age for the 2023 financial year. Tax tips for investments and capital gains tax. Get your rental deductions right. It's critical that rental property owners have their books up to date and in order before 30th of June. Make sure you are only claiming deductions for expenses incurred for the period when the property is rented or available for rent and in the year of the tax return. Arrange a tax depreciation schedule. To increase deductions for your rental property, engage a registered quantity surveyor to prepare a tax depreciation schedule for the property. We can help you with this. Minimise the capital gains tax you pay on investments. When calculating the value of assets for CGT purposes, be sure all relevant costs of acquiring the asset, such as the purchase price, capital improvements, stamp duty, legal costs, advertising expenses and commission fees, are taken into account to ensure the assessment is as low as possible. Timing of capital gains events. If you're planning to sell an asset, you should consider whether to defer the sale until after 30 June. Depending on your individual circumstances, the timing of the disposal could have significant tax implications. General 50% capital gains tax discount. When selling an asset, be aware of the 50% capital gains tax discount that is available for assets that have been held for at least 12 months. Transfer ownership of investment. Put income earning investments like term deposits and shares into a family member or spouse's name with a low income. Individual tax tips. Appointment of tax agent. If you don't already have a tax agent, be sure you appoint one before 31st of October 2023. We can help you in this regard. Additional superannuation contributions. Consider making voluntary contributions to your superannuation in addition to the compulsory payments made by your employer. Any additional payments that you make are tax deductible. Be aware of the concessional superannuation contribution cap of $27,500. Reduce your taxable salary by packaging FBT exempt items. Consider salary packaging a laptop, iPad or phone if you are using them predominantly for work-related purposes. Gifts and donations. Is there a registered charity that is particularly close to your heart? Make your donation of $2 or more to a charity that is registered with the ATO before 30th of June as it's tax deductible. Deduct working from home expenses. Tougher guidelines came into effect at the beginning of 2023, so make sure that you're aware of the new requirements for claiming work from home deductions to ensure that you're able to correctly make your claim. Reconsider income protection insurance arrangements. Review your current level of protection and determine whether an increase may be appropriate in regard to a pay increase or additional business profits. 
This is tax deductible. Optimise your tax offsets. It pays to know what offsets you are entitled to as they directly reduce your tax payable and can add up to a sizable amount. Depending on your circumstances, you may be eligible for the following offsets. Low income offset, low and middle income offsets, and finally offset for superannuation contributions made on behalf of a low income spouse. If you'd like to know more or you need help in this area, please contact us. You're welcome to email us at info at quins.com.au, call us on 1300 Quins, or visit our website www.quins.com.au. We'd love to get your feedback in relation to Quintessential TV, so please like, comment and subscribe. We look forward to seeing you all again next time. I'm Michael Quinn. Bye for now.